Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about rising effects again. Uh, somebody suggested or somebody requested that I would make a sound from a track and um, it was actually a fairly uh, interesting sound. There are some cool things going on with the textures which could also be applied to v um, all kinds of sounds like um, lead sounds and uh, effect sounds. Uh, so let's get right into it. All right, so you kind of have to excuse me for uh, the mess here. This is the project for which I um, which I use uh, on stream, so it's fairly messy. Uh, but the main concern is here. Uh, if you want to catch one of my streams, by the way, I usually stream about two hours after I upload the video on my Twitch page. And uh, if you have any questions about like a sound you would like me to make, uh, we could go over them also on stream if you wanted to, and uh, that way you can kind of give input if you know uh, some things about the sound, which is very helpful also for me, but also for you. And uh, yeah, so with that out of the way, let's listen to the sound. Uh, now this is a background element, so uh, it's a little bit hard to catch, um, even uh, uh, mostly because there are like other elements on top of it and it's not really isolated, but it's a rising effect with a little bit of a bubbly sound to it, a bubbly texture. So if you listen for that, maybe you have to listen for it a few times uh, you will probably able to hear it. So let's uh, take a listen. So you can hear that's the, that's the rising effect there. Now there's something interesting going on with this thing. Uh, let me quickly turn this off. There's something interesting going on with this thing. I immediately identified this as a sound that kind of sounds like the SSQ wavetable. So my first uh, instinct was to um, open up an SSQ wavetable and kind of see what we could get from this. Now this isn't a very good re uh, recreation. As you can see there's a, a few things happening. We're doing stuff with the filter cutoff, the filter drive, uh, the filter resolution, the volume and the pitch band. And the only important one here is the pitch band. The rest was kind of to fix a problem I'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, but for now this is the version that you can get with the SSQ uh, wavetable here. Now you can hear it starts off very nice but then it kind of um, fades out a little bit and uh, we're using as you can see volume and filter drive and filter resonance to combat that. Um, but there's no high end in this wavetable. So that was a big problem here is that you couldn't use this particular wavetable um, for, um, for this uh, patch because there's no high end in it. And the high end that was there when you put it in this saw mode or uh, the, the square mode, which is normally in there, but I cut some, out, some parts of the wavetable out here, uh, that wasn't really getting the right sound. Uh, but I noticed something about this waveform and that's kind of what makes this interesting. And what you can use this for is that this is an FM wavetable. This is made using FM. And you can see that because um, it's kind of a little bit out of phase, this wavetable. It's kind of an interesting wavetable, actually. But if you imagine the start of the wavetable to be right about here, you can see that it's just basically a sine wave, uh, kind of accelerate or uh, rising in pitch, but very shortly. So it's FM. You can see here it starts off slow and then it goes faster, faster oscillates faster and then it just stops. So that was kind of the sound that we were going for uh, as this was giving nice results in the mid range but not in the high end. So what I did is I moved on to a different patch and I actually recreated the exact FM style that it was using to achieve that sound which is very interesting. As you can see here we have this patch and you can immediately see if you see anything like this it's often when you see the plus seven that I'm using one of the oscillators uh, without pitch tracking, which is in this case uh, also used here. You can see pitch tracking for oscillator B is turned off. Uh, so this is running at a stable G key here and we're also playing a G note uh, for this patch. So um, as you can see, this is kind of like a ramp up and then down. So you can imagine that this is a very slow, um, as you can see, a very slow pitch and then it goes up, up, faster, 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 and then it just goes down. 
Now you can make this wavetable yourself by simply just, let's start with a different example here. Let's use this. What you can do is you set this to, or you set this one to nine here, and then you just place it like this and then you set this to one and you go down either so this is how you get that wavetable as you can see there's the wavetable we made and so this is basically what's causing that really cool fm it's just making this thing faster and faster and also because of note here is this is actually playing one register below uh, our other oscillator because we're using pitch tracking uh, we actually need to tune it up from the lowest key that it can accept which is two levels below um, the sub bass so um, what you actually normally when you wouldn't use pitch tracking you would set this octave to minus one and this to zero but because we're using pitch track or no pitch tracking on this oscillator we actually need to turn it up from the very lowest note it can ac accept Therefore, it's playing one register below your sub bass. So keep that in mind. And again, here um, we're using a bandpass filter to get that bandpass sound and that higher effect sound. And um, we have a chorus. We had the same chorus in the last one. This is just to add some stereo with. Doesn't really, uh, isn't really required for the sound. Um, so the main bulk of the sound is just this style of FM here. And uh, this is the sound we got from that. Now you can see that's already a bit better, um, but I wanted to take it a little bit further. And for that, I want to thank Dash Glitch again. Um, he has been inspiring for a lot of tutorials and um, he actually was um, watching some of my stuff the other day, which was really fun. Uh, I made a video about uh, something he did and I kind of wanted to show an alternative way to do that and um, oh, there's something wrong with the and okay there it is so he showed you uh, showed me how you could or showed everybody in the video how you could achieve wave folding and we're I actually remade his wave folding um, uh, waveform here and this is the the one we're using and we're just using it in a, a this position here um, it's between three octaves, so uh, it goes from one sine wave to three to uh, five sine cycles here. And I took this position in the wavetable, which I very much liked, and then I used uh, the, the gain staging to actually make it louder, because if you're morphing between these tables normally, it kind of goes down and then back up again in volume. So to get the right volume, I just made it a bit louder with the gain staging. Uh, but you can see it's basically the same thing, only that we use remapping to accentuate that, that speed up and then down effect. So you can see this is the, 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 the mapping we use for that. You can see that this controls um, the, the, like the, the rising part and then here you have a control for the falling part. So you can make it a bit more snappier or a little less. Uh, so that is what this remap function is doing. It's just making that uh, taking that FM effect and then accentuating it and through that you also get a bit more high-end I also turned the FM up a little bit more as you can see we're at 100% FM here which um, is very intense and again just the chorus in uh, the filter um, but finally we got this sound oh. And you can see now we have a nice clean high end and um, nice bubbly texture there and that was kind of the sound I wanted to talk about and uh, this is actually a very common trick you can use and um, that's why the SSQ waveform is used a lot because it creates this nice clicky lead sound and now that you know this trick you can basically do, do that with any wavetable and um, take the concept of the SSQ waveform table and take it to a whole nother level using this FM trick. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. It was a cool sound design request. We had a lot of fun making it and um, if you have any requests either throw them in the comments down below or if you're seeing this uh, about two and a half hours after I upload this or two to 
I, be, I would say like one and a half hours after I upload this, then go ahead and go to my Twitch account and see if I'm online and see if I'm streaming and just throw it in the chat so I can immediately respond to it and we can make them together. Um, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.